want to share with you yeah. and your family, your family. The love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God. With one touch, ministries, we're touching hearts and changing lives.
I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Thank you, Smiley. Because uh, we are hearing the word of God, but what two more of one day, what day? Yes, for a very original name of one day. Yes, for a whole corner of this. Hello? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. So it is now your time, Pastor. Okay, amen. I'm ready. Can everyone hear me? Amen. Well, today we are celebrating Communion Sunday. In this week. And today uh, we, we celebrate as, uh, as Christian believers by taking the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so on today, we have the uh, cracker and the juice that's representing the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in First Corinthians eleven and verse starting at verse twenty-three. Pardon, pardon. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, you're welcome. You can proceed now. Okay. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3 says, For I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus on that night he was betrayed, he took bread. And 
and when he had gave thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after uh, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For who, for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks this cup of the Lord, in any unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Before we take communion, I want everyone to think of anything that could possibly have them feel that they're unworthy to take the communion, the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So for the next few minutes, just begin to ask the Lord. Ask the Lord for forgiveness of every sin, knowing and unknowing. So, Father God, I bless you, these people, God, and Father God, as they begin to repent of their sins, knowing and unknowing. Now just take the next 30 seconds and reflect on your life before we begin to take a Holy Communion. Kaka Kanesa, as a church, when you move and let us arise on our feet, when you kill them to one million and will be But there's something that you can take God. Of that, you can be there. And if I don't finish it all, you can keep it even if you can get away. Because wherever you are, you know what you want. Don't take the flesh because it was brought in the church. We are saying that so and so brought this. And because the way you make it is not to make it. Even if you are there, you must go as you are in church. We are not at home. You must know that you are taking the body of Christ. And you must know why you are taking the body of Christ. And you must start with and you must begin to speak to God. In your heart, you know what you want in your life. And you know where you are not, and it's not right to you. In your heart, you know what you want in your life. And as begin to speak to God, I tell God something. I tell God something. I tell God something. 
in your last week to go and tell you that's when it's happening. He said, You want to see this God like this? Enemy that is not mine. You are saying, God, today, God, that I check the flesh. That I check the flesh. That this is the best. That I check the flesh. That I check the flesh. If it's something you're not going to do, but for today, you're going to be able to believe in it. God, let me speak to you. If you get to speak to God, you will be able to believe in it. If you get to speak to God, you will be able to believe in it. I'm a sinner, sinful every morning. 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 I'm a sinner, sin
But I can do everything because of your grace. I can do everything because of your grace. I can dress because of your grace. I can do everything because of your grace. You have the I said, I said, everybody, have they all received their crackers and juice yet? Not yet, is when we want to give them. Um, <laughs> yes, can we, can we, can we distribute that now? And you see, we yes. pray. Yes, can everybody get one now? Just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute, okay. Okay. Jesus Christ, we bless your holy name because you are living God. 
there is the flesh and the blood of Christ, we partake it in remembering of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bless it in the name of Jesus. As we partake of it, Lord, we believe that every passage in our life shall be destroyed today. And in the name of Jesus, let the power come down, let the power come down. Let our flesh be released in the name of Jesus. What do you say? It is blessed in the name of the Son, the Father, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us come and celebrate it. Amen, amen. What you have been lying, what you have been lying, what you have been lying, what side of the world from the left of the matter, what side of the world is making it to the the man of the idea 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 he said, the people Everybody, 
Okay, praise God. Um, so yes, yeah, so we can continue with the program. What what's up next? Do you have another song, or do you have? Uh, are you ready for me to give the word? We are we are just waiting for you. We have one song so that we so that we are going to give you a time. You give a word. Okay, sure. Uh, you can go ahead with the you can go with the song. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Praise God. Yes, so Today, in the house of God, 
is power to let there is power today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. There is power today in the house of the Lord. Oh, there is healing today in the house of the Lord. It is healing today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. There is healing today. For oh, there is power today in the house of the Lord. so much and so I just want to make sure that so that everyone can hear me I don't have to see um, everyone in the church I just need to know that everybody can hear me so can everybody hear me amen I'm so glad to be with you guys on this wonderful morning, and I have enjoyed service a lot today. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. I was saying uh, greetings from America. We have uh, enjoyed service this morning. On behalf of myself and my wife, we send you greetings from One Touch Ministries in Orlando, Florida. Awesome. And we also have here one of our a ministers in Saginaw, Michigan, 
Uh, we have Minister Henry Jackson, who is also with us today. And so I want to speak to you guys about a subject that the Lord has given me. That this is a a season of new in 2022. A first Chronicles 12 and verse 32 says this. It says, from the tribe of Issachar, there were 200 leaders of the tribe with all their relatives. All the <clears throat> with, you can still hear me. Yes, continue. Okay. It says, from the tribe of Issachar, there were 200 leaders of the tribe with their relatives. All these men understood the signs of the times and knew the best course of Israel to take. Yes, continue. Continue. Okay. So I'm here to proclaim to every single person today that this is a new season in 2022. And that we are going to start doing some new three new things coming up with the ministry really soon one of the things that you've seen today is that we actually did communion sunday on today by taking the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are embarking on something new. And this past week on the Jewish calendar, we celebrated Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah represents a brand new year. And so now that we step into a brand new year on the Jewish calendar, God is saying that this is a new season for you. And so now that you're in a brand new season of new, I want you to be able to expect God to do some great things for you in your life. He's going to supply every one of your needs and he's going to give you every one of your wants that your hearts desire.
God promised that his word will not return back to us void. Uh, it won't return back to him void. So you have to believe and have faith and trust he's going to do what he say he's going to do. And so today I want to challenge every single person that's listening to me today to write down to write down your dreams, to write down your goals and to write down your aspirations. Those things that you dream about God doing for you or that business that you always want to do, this is the season to start. And so this is a season that you have to understand the times and the seasons. The Bible says that there's a time and season for everything. A time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to be happy, and a time to be sad. But I'm here to declare to you today that this is a season of joy. It doesn't matter what you have gone through even during the pandemic, but this right now is a brand new season and it is a season of joy. So if you believe that this is the season of joy, just begin to clap your hands and give God some praise. We're going to continue to believe God that he's going to supply every one of your needs that he's going to take care of your family and he's going to send healing to your body. This is a season that we believe in God for supernatural signs, miracles, and wonders to come for you in your life. We believe in God for a supernatural deliverance from any habits that anyone may be having in their life. We believe in God that salvation shall come to your friends and loved ones and anyone who you may be praying for. Now, I just want everybody to put your hands on top of your head because I'm going to pray that God's going to give you peace in your mind in this season. So, Father God, I speak peace in the mind and in the midst of your people. I speak right now, Lord, that anything or anybody that may be disturbing them, I proclaim peace in Jesus' name. Father God, you said in your word that you shall give us peace that surpasses all understanding. Can you sign your 
And so now I want you to put your hands on your heart. And I speak comfort to anybody that may be lonely, hurting, or confused. I speak blessings to every single person that may be um, dealing with any kind of bereavement that they may have had in their life. And right now, I just want you to lift your hands in the air. As I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellation, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And lastly, I speak anointing and promotion in your life to complete your assignment in your dreams to move forward in your God-given purpose. If you believe and receive that right now in this new season, clap your hands and say, God is blessing me. Every single day, I want you to say, God is blessing me right now. I don't care what it looks like and I don't care what it feels like. I want you to say every single day for the rest of 2022, God is blessing me right now. So let's begin to practice it right now. Say, God is blessing me right now and say it three times in a row. I don't hear anybody say anything. Say, God is blessing me right now. <laughs> amen. And amen. All right. Amen something else new that we're doing right now with One Touch Ministries International Kenya. I, don't. I said something else new that we're doing for One Touch Ministries International Kenya. Is that we are now officially proclaiming every single person here today as official members of the ministry. Amen. Amen. We, I know Pastor um, has been gathering names of people and what we're going to do within the next coming months is that we're going to actually send you official new members certificates to every single person that's here right now today. Listen, and we're also um, we're also working with Pastor Ortino, 
and doing some other things as well that you will hear coming up really soon. Pardon? Pardon? I said that, that we are working together with Pastor Ortino about some upcoming things coming soon, including the Kenya Crusade in 2023. And so I want you guys to just remember that we're in a season of new in 2022. I also spoke to you guys in the beginning of the year saying that there is nothing that's impossible for God. I want you to continue to believe I want you to continue to believe that there is nothing that's impossible for God. He can do it. He can bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we can't wait to come see you guys as I'm just closing right now. We can't wait to see you guys come next year, 2023. And we want to hear. Amen. 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 So right now, um, we do a thing here in America called giving everyone the right hand of fellowship. And so basically what I want everyone to do is all the um, of the pastors and the leaders line up front and then starting at the right side, everyone walk around and shake the hands of the pastors and the leaders as showing as a symbol of being members of the of the church. Amen. 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. What's the great for Amen. 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 To the yeah. season of new 2022. God bless you guys. Amen. 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 That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Welcome to the season of new 2022. Pa pa Pastor Ortino, I'm putting it back into your hands. I'm all done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Amen. 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 Amen.